14 introvert versus extrovert differences explained. If you're new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button and ring that notification bell to see more Fact Queen videos. Number 14. Origin and Discovery The temperament or personality traits called introvert and extrovert were identified by Carl Jung. Multiple sources also cite the Swiss psychiatrist and psychologist as the founding father of analytical psychology. Jung's ultra-important personality discovery, according to New World Encyclopedia, showed that people are not just inward or outward thinkers. Jung uncovered that people process information and respond to stimuli differently, and those processes are why people feel, act, and respond differently. Introversion and extroversion are recognized as the dichotomous halves of the personality dimension. These are multifaceted constructs. People can fall at the extreme ends of both sides or may lie in the middle, displaying traits of both. Number 13. Definitions An introvert is described as an inward thinker. They're most comfortable spending time alone within their private world of feelings, facts, ideas, and fantasies. Introverts are considered to be private, reflective, and thoughtful, and energized in solitude. An extrovert is defined as an outgoing person who likes being surrounded by people and and enjoy socializing. In fact, human interaction ignites the very identity of extroverts. External stimuli basically fuels their energy tanks. They thrive on the energy of people and things around them. They are considered to be assertive, talkative, happy, and adaptive individuals. Number 12. Differing Natures Introverts are generally reserved by nature because they're mostly preoccupied with their own thoughts and feelings. Sometimes people mistake their silence for shyness. They need a lot of personal space and feel more comfortable and energized in solitude. They prefer introspective activities such as reading a good book, playing video games, writing and listening to music. Extroverts are more focused on practical external realities rather than internal thoughts. They can quickly become bored in solitude since they gain energy from external sources. Number 11. Thought Process one of the most significant differences between introverts and extroverts is the way they process circumstances. Introverts are known to be internal processors. They may seem to be quiet, but their minds are always loud, clear, and active. They process their thoughts, feelings, or choices internally first. They need alone time to think through everything carefully. Extroverts are external processors or thinkers. They process their thoughts by verbalizing them to others who will listen and support them. They make decisions with others' input and manage any conflicts through verbal communication. Number 10. Recharging Energy Another thing that differentiates introverts from extroverts is how they feel energized and relaxed. An introvert would usually need some alone time and read a good book or indulge in introspection to rejuvenate and recharge. Introverts might need some solitary time after a big social event to gather their thoughts and be ready for the next round. Extroverts regenerate their energy by interacting with people much like plugging an electric car into a charger. They tend to love social environments with fun crowds because mingling with others stimulates them. In social events, you'll see extroverted individuals socialize more with each other as opposed to introverts. The work and discovery of Dr. Jung provided us with the understanding of how we all receive stimuli and replenish energy depending on how we are wired. Fascinating stuff! Number 9. Need for Attention Introverts just don't prefer to stay reserved and appear mysterious. They come off that way naturally. Extroverts love having the spotlight to feel validated and energized. An introvert doesn't feel comfortable putting their glow on display for others to see or appreciate or potentially criticize. Introverts are not fond of having all eyes on them and don't have a need for popularity among large groups. Attention-grabbing attributes are associated with extroverts. Extroverts often attract others with their charming and friendly personalities. They are more like open books to people rather than exuding an air of mystery. Their low desire for attention leads introverts towards solitary leisure activities, while extroverts are more likely to take part in social gatherings that provide plenty of contact with other people. Number 8. Listening and Communication 
When it comes to listening skills, introverts shine hands down. Introverts always listen more than speak. They pay keen attention and take time to think carefully before they speak up. By the time an introvert formulates a response, most extroverts are on to their next external chatter. Extroverts are known to speak their minds. They're naturally better speakers than listeners. An extrovert reflects on something by speaking about it. A 2003 study by Min Lee and Nas suggested that the reason behind extroverts' stronger social manifestations is derived from their ability to talk more often and in louder voices, as they use more physical gestures to initiate conversations. Introverts are perceived as the less comfortably able to communicate their feelings and thoughts. Another study postulated that extroverts spoke more frequently and made more eye contact while talking to people than introverts do. Number 7. Connecting with others The way a person connects with others is important in determining whether they're an introvert or extrovert. Introverts may have a tendency to avoid crowds, where they'll have to interact with new people, but they're fully capable of deeply engaging in one-on-one -on -one conversations with people they know or are interested in. Introverts like to tune into the minute details that others might miss altogether. Similarly, they like to receive information from the person they're connecting with. They love to form meaningful connections. Extroverts, on the contrary, are attracted to huge gatherings. The more people they interact with, the happier they are. They're comfortable with small talk and group conversations because socializing feeds their energy. They enthusiastically enjoy the experiences brought on by new encounters. Extroverts enjoy deep connections as well, but tend to deepen those connections with more social conversations and experiences. Number 6. Handling Change how a person handles and adapts to change is partially dependent on who they are wired to be. It's not that one person is better than the other, as everybody deals with change differently. Introverted individuals are quite comfortable with their routines and habits. They always have a plan or a focused set of goals to achieve. They might feel overwhelmed or uneasy to stray away from those plans. Introverts can sometimes be resistant to change or need to spend plenty of time becoming accustomed to something new. Since extroverts are easygoing, spontaneous, and adaptive, they tend to go with the flow and adjust to the change easily. Number 5. Ability to Lead Look at all the differences between how introverts and extroverts think, behave, and act. You may assume that extroverts will prove to be better leaders. Undoubtedly, their charismatic personality, confidence, and practical ability of inspiring and connecting with people makes them natural leaders. They can inspire people to perform better and deliver their best output. However, introverts can also become effective leaders due to their ability to process thoughts, information, and situations more systematically. They also have the patience, take time to solve problems, and analyze situations before reacting. These traits can lead to thoughtful, rational decisions from good leaders. Number 4. Forming Friendships How people form their friendships plays a crucial part in defining their personalities. If you have an introverted friend, you may be aware that they're not so comfortable sharing their inner world with a lot of people. Introverts are more likely to have a few close friends who they can trust and share their lives with. They carefully choose friends with similar interests, hobbies, and intellects, and they invest time nurturing those bonds. Their friendships are deeply rooted and last for long periods of time. Extroverts have many friends too, but their relationships are often superficial. They don't have to share interests or similarities to connect well with others. They tend to overshare personal details and their thoughts with several close friends. Number 3. Appearances Our dressing habits and overall appearances are important in enhancing and reflecting our personalities, so the clothes you wear can reveal a lot about the real you. Appearance is also a window to determining personality traits. You can tell a lot about other people by simply observing the way they dress, appear in general, or arrange their home or office. Extroverts are more likely to wear colorful, attractive clothes and accessories. Also, their office or home will be more inviting, cozy, colorful, and sometimes a little bit messy. Introverts prefer to wear neutral colors and have simplistic, clean, and reasonably organized spaces. Number 2. Ability to Concentrate Introverts have the ability to concentrate deeply for longer periods of time. They need to focus on whatever they're going to do in order to produce desirable outcomes. You might see them putting on their headphones or moving to a quiet corner to get started on a project. It's not just to tune out extroverts. Introverts prefer to have quiet working places to get into the zone and give their brains an undistracted place to think. Extroverts, on the other hand, can become distracted really easily. They're generally not able to concentrate on anything for a long time. Working in a noisy space is not ideal for any extrovert that needs to be productive. 
Number 1. Process information Introverts are wired in such a way that they pay attention to every little detail, while extroverts feel satisfied with knowing even the least amount of information available. One might think of introverts as self-absorbed and reserved, but their observational and listening skills are impeccable. They're intellectually curious, hence tune into everything happening around them. They pay thorough attention because they like to evaluate, scrutinize, and reflect. Meanwhile, extroverts don't get lost usually in the minutia of details. They are more focused on how things appear to be at face value. Extroverts can make snap decisions based on what seems to be right at the moment. Are you more introverted or extroverted? Please hit like, subscribe, and comment below if you'd like to help us grow and bring you more Fact Queen content. Thank you for watching! <laughs>